Jess Too Good here, and I'm a pretty busy mantis. I'm part of LEGO Ambassador program, so LEGO is gracious to send me some review copies of things, but I don't get to all of them when my priorities don't lie with that particular set. So what happened was I missed out on reviewing this and this set as they released. Well, this, to be fair, was a fall release. This one was a winter release. So this one's relatively new still, but this is the Batwing 1989 collector set and then the Harry Potter art set. But since I'm not super interested in these and I've seen a lot of takes on these already, I just want to do a quick video covering these two because I feel bad that Lego sent me these and I didn't even cover them. The Batwing is a fantastically designed model, but I'm not really into larger models of things unless it has a really, really interesting function. And to me, the function of wall mounting this or putting this on display, some of the hidden weapons and everything isn't enough to get my interest. Something like a Nintendo set, yeah, I also love Nintendo more than I love Batman, but I love how the NES has that crank feature, and that attracts me to that set more than any of the features here. But that's just my take, and that doesn't mean this is a bad set. I know a lot of people love this, and I guess if you're close to the 1989 Batman movie, which it's not one of my favorite Batman movies, I just kind of like it, you will probably like this more. But yeah, the design of this, like I said, is beautiful. I love how they did the wings, particularly how all these parts are smoothed out. Interesting use of those hinge connection pieces, which you could barely see those little one by two plates. And I'm impressed how this is just a slot connection. I mean, this is a very strong build for the stand using modified bricks that have the Technic pinholes. And then you just put it in that slot up there. And then another thing, I really like the use of that new windshield piece from the Razor Quest set. But my favorite part, of course, is the minifigures. I'm a minifigure guy. And you get three, well, two exclusive minifigures and one very hard to find figure. I saw a lot of people complaining that Lawrence the Goon instead of Bob the Goon was included. I don't know, the design of Lawrence I really love. I love that Joker jacket, which even has some fantastic printing at the side. You got no arm printing on this side, which is accurate to the movie. A new face print, which looks really cool. It reminds me of some of those old Lego town sets where they had that one sunglass print. And then some nice back torso printing as well. The design for Batman is the same one from the 1989 Batmobile collector set. That cowl is molded in with the cape design, which is almost like a soft, almost rubber design. It's very interesting on how that is molded. And that goes over, unfortunately, the same Batman face print since I think the start of the DC Superheroes line. The torso print that they used for the last one, which doesn't have the Batman logo on it, I actually really like that modified design. And then you have some back torso printing as well. Really awesome minifigure. I'm glad that he was re-included in this set because I didn't get the other one. The one big problem is that he doesn't have his eye printing, where in the movie, like the design of Michael Keaton's Bruce Wayne in the Batman outfit has eye designs there. It's not whited out. And that's just a problem that Lego has with Batman in general, where they're too afraid to have like printing of eyes all the way at the top because it would look really awkward without the cowl on. And then finally, we get another variant of the Jack Nicholson Joker. Having just seen The Shining for the first time, I'm on a Jack Nicholson hype train. So I was really happy to actually have this minifigure, though I did build him a couple months ago. The design of this has a new torso, a new leg, and a new face printing, which all looks great. It's a more obscure outfit from the film, but that makes sense since the first one had his more prominent outfit. And then you have some back torso printing as well. I also love the build of the gargoyles here. So yeah, the minifigure stuff is of course my favorite part of the set. So this one has four separate models, each for a different Hogwarts house. And these have over 4,000 pieces. So if you're a price per piece ratio person, you'll love that even though most of them are just studs. But I don't know, just these art sets in general have not gotten my attention. For me, I like something more dynamic, especially for such a high price item. I like the 3D models that LEGO could bring. And then there's some cool ideas for art sets like the brick sketches. I would love to get those at this size. That would be interesting. But as it stands with these stud builds, they're just not interesting to me, especially compared to so many other high priced items. So I'm not a fan of this set and that's just my point of view. So people will be like, well, if I like the art stuff, then I'll buy it. But I don't even recommend them as Lego buys because there's just so much more interesting stuff that you could only do with Lego. And at that same price, you know, 120 bucks. Something like this feels even like I know people were complaining about like the NES set. 
Like that has a function to it. That's like a recreation of a physical object. This one is a 2D recreation, a mosaic, and it just, I don't know, it does not feel like it's worth the money, but that's just my perspective. So yeah, my easy favorite out of this is the Batwing, and even then, it's not a set I'm totally into. I just respect that a lot more than this build. Now, out of these two, let me know in the comments which one you like the most. This is just my perspective. I like Lego Mario, and people think that's a waste of money, so to each their own. And I think a video like this, funny enough, at this point would do better in how much people it reaches than doing a review of them separately. It's weird how YouTube works sometimes. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.